Hello, Sanctuary family. We hope you're having a great morning. Hope you have been enjoying these uh, devotions every morning. I know we have enjoyed hearing from different ones in the church. And it's just been a wonderful thing. We wanted to share just a, a thought today. It may not be a, a, a super deep devotional, but it will be something that I hope that's encouraging to you. Um, it's definitely a thought that I wanted to share um, with you all. Something I shared with the choir about a week ago, and I felt to share it with the church as well. But I, I, I really sh shared this um, because I felt strongly that the Lord had just laid this on my mind that I um, felt like I needed to say. But it was basically this phrase, and it was basically saying, don't give up in, on your relationship with God. And basically what I meant by that was not don't walk away from the Lord. Don't, it wasn't really meaning that. It meant don't give up on pursuing more of Him. Sometimes in the new year, you may have uh, new resolutions that you want to read your Bible more, you want to pray more, you want to do different things, and maybe you haven't met the mark. Maybe you've already kind of fell off of the wagon. And sometimes it's very, very discouraging, and the enemy loves to use things like that to say, why even try? Why even worry about more of God? Why don't you just settle for what you have? And I just felt like God was saying, don't give up on your relationship with me. Don't give up on pursuing more of Him. And I hope that's something that will encourage you today if maybe you are in that situation where you're like, man, I've already kind of messed up. I've already just not been able to do what I was hoping I could do. Um, there's a quote that I love, and I love quotes, and it says this. I never forgot this. It says, don't let your fear of failing keep you from following. God doesn't expect perfection. He expects pursuit. I'll say it again because I love that quote. Don't let your fear of failing keep you from following. God doesn't expect perfection. He expects pursuit. And hopefully that will bless you today to remember that because that's what God is looking for us to do is to just keep following, keep pursuing more of Him. Definitely. And yes, I love when we do pursue the Lord. He always meets us. The more time that we spend with Him, the more time we want to make to spend time with Him. He honors when we take that time out of our day to spend time with Him. Um, a couple of scriptures for Psalm 42. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so I long for you, God. I thirst for God, the living God. A couple other scriptures that I love. Jeremiah 29, 13. And you will seek me and find find me when you search for me with all your heart. Another one that I love is Psalm 63, 1. Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. I've been blessed to be in a family with a heritage of strong praying women and I remember being in a prayer meeting one time when I was younger and my Aunt May was underneath the pews face down in the carpet praying sincerely to the Lord Lord teach me how to pray and I thought oh my goodness <laughs> you know is there even any hope for me I mean this is someone who I look up to and it wasn't that she she didn't know the Lord. She was just pursuing, pursuing. I need to know more of you, Lord. Teach me how to pray. Teach me your ways. And there's something that's so special when we come to the Lord and we're like, Lord, I want to spend time with you because the more we want to spend time with him, the more he talks to us and he shows us his different facets and the different things the attributes of the Lord and the different things he wants to speak into us. Is it going to be perfect every day? <laughs> Absolutely not. You know, there are some days that I'm just like, oh, that was the best I could do. You know, but then I get up and I think, okay, today's a new day. I'm going to try and pursue you even more. So we want to encourage you to pursue the Lord. Yeah. Don't give up. Yeah. You know, don't give up. Don't be discouraged. If it's not perfect one day, it's okay. <laughs> We've learned so much from the elders who have spoken into our lives to just say, there's so much when they just say, keep going on, 
it's gonna get sweeter every day you go because it's true I find that out the older I get the sweeter the Lord is the more time I spend with him the more time I want to spend time with him so we hope yeah. you're encouraged today I want to leave you with something kind of something I saw the other day on a billboard actually it's been a little while but it was pretty funny kind of applies to what we're saying sort of but it said this basically it says how can you expect to get in shape spiritually if you only work out on Sundays so there you go. There's your nugget for today. Hope you have a wonderful day. We love you.